grouchy with the chance of stomping, using personality traits to forecast behavior. In everyday speech, one of these statements would sound familiar. Because Jack is grouchy, he stomps. And one a bit peculiar. Because Jack stomps, he is grouchy. As a psychological explanation, however, the first statement is problematic and the second more satisfying. To explain, I'll use a metaphor. Here is a prototypical winter forecast at Utah State University. Particulars, like a gusting wind, make up the weather. And in turn, persistent weather patterns constitute climate. Analogously, personality traits like grouchiness, they are comprised of states, which are comprised of thoughts and actions like stomping. In other words, just as climate is a summary of weather, which is a summary of weather events, traits summarize states, which summarize thoughts and actions. On the large scale of traits and climate, our predictions are highly reliable. A temperate disposition, like a temperate climate, tends to remain temperate. Yet our predictions on these scales do lack precision. Just as climate cannot pinpoint a gust of wind, traits cannot guarantee stomping in a specific context. The first takeaway, then, is that studying personality traits allows us to predict long-term patterns of behavior. Although our forecast may be limited to grouchy with only a chance of stomping, such predictions drive adaptive action, from avoiding unpleasant interpersonal encounters to identifying at-risk populations. A second takeaway will move beyond description and prediction to explanation. Although climate predicts weather phenomena, it does not explain them. Rather, weather phenomena, like gusts of wind, explain climate. This might sound upside down until we recall that climate is a description of enduring weather patterns. It is not scientifically satisfying to answer, why is it windy today, with, it's a windy climate. To explain weather while avoiding circular reasoning, we look outside the loop. Similarly, traits can predict behavior, but traits like grouchiness do not explain behavior like stomping. The behavior explains the trait label. So it is as problematic to say grouchiness causes stomping as it was to say a windy climate caused wind. Instead, neuroscientists, for example, turn to the brain for explanations. And experimental psychologists to antecedents and consequences. The second takeaway, then, is that traits are most useful for describing the past and predicting the future rather than supplying explanations. So, which of these statements is more compelling to you as an explanation?